What's going on guys? Thanks for watching Keep Calm and Game On. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about a new microphone that I just got from the company Fafine Technology. That is F-I-F-I-N-E technology. So a little bit of a backstory. Uh, this company reached out to me in an email, said they saw some of my YouTube videos and was curious if I wanted to kind of review and give my first impressions of one of their microphones. This particular model is the K669B. I will put a link to the Amazon page in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. But it is currently $45.99, which isn't a bad price for a microphone. It's, you know, a pretty reasonable price. There are definitely mics that are a little bit cheaper and there's definitely mics that are way more expensive, but this is, you know, about kind of a mid-range price, I would say. It, it uh, you know, there's there's mics like the Blue Snowball. They're around 50, 60 bucks. You got the Blue Yeti, which is around 130, 150 bucks. Definitely, you know, that's a different company. Obviously, that's the Blue Company. This is for fine. So totally different, uh, you know, companies, but I'm just kind of giving you some price points. You can kind of, you know, gauge between the prices. But yeah, it's $45.99. And this is just gonna be my first impression of the mic. You know, I haven't used any mics from this company before. This is my first time. I never even heard of these guys before they reached out to me. But this is gonna be my impressions kind of from first, you know, opening the box, checking it out to, you know, trying it out and testing it out myself and, you know, looking at all the parts and whatnot. Because again, I haven't used this before. So this is just my honest opinion. You know, they did send me this for free. So thank you guys for that. But I'm not being paid to say nice things about it. Nothing like that. So let's just jump into it. So the first thing I noticed when I got this in the mail was it just came like this, like in this box. Now this is pretty sturdy cardboard, all right? Pretty sturdy cardboard. But I'm used to getting packages like, you know, in a box from the company. But then there's like another package over it with some bubble wrap. This didn't come with any bubble wrap. It just came exactly like you're seeing it now, which isn't a big deal. It's got like a few little nicks on the corner from, you know, if the mailman dropped it or whatever. I don't know how the mail people do things, but just something I noticed. I'm not going to ding them on that because a lot of companies, they don't shrink wrap everything, but just something I noticed. So, but again, it feels like it's pretty sturdy cardboard. So, yeah. Um, before I open this up, I'm just going to read you some of the specs. It's basically a USB microphone. And uh, I'll just read you what it says on the Amazon page real quick. So basically, it says it's, it's plug and play. Simply plug it into your computer's USB port with the included USB cable, calibrate it with your operating system, and you're ready to record. Uh, the provided USB cord is long enough to keep on your desk and away from extra noise. It's got a metal stand, metal tripod stand, which makes it convenient. Um, it's also got some knobs on the front, well, one knob on the front to be more exact. This is a volume knob on the unit itself so that you can adjust the volume to what you need at the time. So the recording quality is just perfect. So whether you're conducting a meeting via Skype, um, nurturing a relationship across the globe, or streaming a gaming session on Twitch, you'll be heard loud and crystal clear. Uh, the recording quality is clear and crisp in normal speaking voice with no need to yell or raise your voice. Clear sound, perfectly suited for tasks like podcasting or voiceovers. Good performance with vocals and even instruments. So that's what they say on their webpage. And, you know, obviously companies aren't going to come out and say their mic sucks. They're always going to make their product sound like it's great. You know, crystal clear audio, yada, yada, yada. It's the same for any product. So with that being said, you know, I don't think they're lying to me or anything, but you know, companies try to make their products sound good. But that's why I'm here, because I'm going to give you my actual opinion on what I think of this mic. So, again, I will put the link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself and read some of the reviews. It did get four and a half stars by over 4,000 people, so that's not bad. But let's just crack this puppy open and see what's inside. So, got my little knife here. I'm going to try not to cut my hand off, but let me just kind of tear open the tape. On both the sides. Let me see if I can get this open. A lot of people would have opened this up first, kind of saw it was inside, so they could explain it. But again, this is my real impressions. This is a real unboxing video. So let me just cut this open. Okay, I think I got all the tape off. And uh, let me just open this up. So at the end of the video, I'll probably do like a little sound test so you guys can kind of see. Um, before I get too far into it, I am recording all the audio, not with this mic because it's still in the box, but I'm recording the audio that you're currently hearing with this Turtle Beach headset. It's, this is the Turtle Beach PX11, I believe. I think it's the PX11, but yeah, it's just a Turtle Beach headset, not super expensive. But when I do I plug this bad boy in, you can kind of gauge between the two because you know you can go back, listen to this sound, and you go forward and listen to this sound, just so you have kind of a 
see how it sounds. You know what I'm saying? You know, a little bit of a bass line and then, you, you know, you know, okay, all right. But I will do a sound test at the end of the video so you can kind of hear it for yourself because no matter how nice the mic looks, it's not, it's not how it looks. It's how it sounds, all right? So right off the bat, we got ourselves a little Fafine technology, little kind of bookmark thing, and it kind of gives you... Um, it gives you kind of a, just a little backstory about the warranty and how you can sign up for the warranty, um, how you can reach out to the website if you need support. And you can also use it as a bookmark. It has a little Facebook page on there, their Twitter on there, email, all that good stuff. So that's kind of cool. Um, then it comes with a little, I'm assuming this is the instruction manual. So it comes with a little user guide, tells you the model number there. There's a two models. I mean, there's two colors actually. Um, I think this is the black one. I think that's the one I, I purchased because basically I purchased it and then they refunded me through PayPal. Um, but there's also a pink one, which looks kind of cool. I think I got the, the black one, but we'll find out. But yeah, it kind of gives you a little, uh, gives you more info there. Tells you kind of how to use it, how to set it up. Email if you need to contact them. Kind of how the, the stand works and everything. So that's nice, you know. Some troubleshooting things, windows. Nice to have. Directions. Are we going to read those? Not at the moment. Okay. So then it comes with, you know, a little bit of a uh, little bit of padding in here. So that's nice because I thought it was just, you know, in the box jiggling around. But no, it's actually in, it's actually got some, some padding in here. So it looks like it's got a little bit of padding there. And then it just kind of sits in here with some more padding. So I like that. Okay. I like that because I wasn't expecting that. So now I feel a little bit better. You know, it didn't come in another package with bubble wrap, but it looks like this is actually pretty good padding and it's packed reasonably well. So let's just pull this out and see what we got. So first off, looks like we got ourselves a little, little tripod. Now this does look like it's metal. You can kind of open it up here. And then it just looks like it's a normal standard, you know, mic mount. You can, you know, got the threads, you just kind of twist it on there. And then you can fold it back down. Very nice, collapsible, compact, if you want to put it in like your camera bag or something. So that's that. Do a little close-up of it. There you go. All right, so that's nice. Then it comes with a cord as well. And the, the thing about this, it looks like, is the cord is actually already plugged in to the microphone. So I don't know if you can unplug this cord, but let's find out real quick. So let me pull this guy out. It does have some weight to it, which is nice, and it does feel like it's actually metal, which is pretty cool. Not bad. It's actually metal. Okay. All right. Does it say it's metal on here? I think it does say it's metal on here, too, but I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to kind of be, you know, just cheap plastic. Um, that's actually metal. So that's cool. And the mic mount, it actually looks like it's pretty good build quality. I mean, this, this little part is plastic but it's got the threads. I'm actually kind of impressed by, by that. Not bad, okay. Now, I don't believe you can uh, unplug it from the mic, it's kind of plugged in. A lot of the mics I get, like the Blue Snowball and stuff, you can plug the cord directly in it, but it looks like this is fastened to it. There might be a way to unscrew that, I'm not sure, but it does feel like it's secure, so that's good. And then it's just got the little USB at the end there. And obviously this would go on your computer. Okay, so looks like basically what we got to do is just kind of screw this bad boy in. Okay. And again, I'm liking, I mean, the build quality so far feels pretty nice. It looks, it looks pretty nice. Again, looks can be deceiving. You're not going to judge a mic by its looks. You're going to judge by how it sounds. All right. We all know this. But packaging, not bad. Mic quality from just, you know, looking at it. Cosmetically, it looks nice. Um, and then it can kind of go up and down like this. And then you obviously just tighten that up to keep it in place. And then it's got that little knob on the front where you can adjust the volume on it. So that's cool. All right, so I think I got this plugged in right. Let's open up the tripod there. Let's just mount it. I don't know exactly how you want to mount it, but let me set this on the let me set this down real quick. Set it down real quick and it looks like uh, you know, it looks like it sits pretty well. 
and it does have threads in there so if you have another like a mic mount that you want to put it onto it just looks like a standard mount for it you can just twist it in if you don't want to use the little tripod one that came with it because a lot of people you know have the boom mics or mics i mean the boom mic stands or mic stands you can attach to your desk um so that's nice that it's just you know a normal just thread that you can twist on but cosmetically i'm liking the way it looks the stand seems like it uh will hold it up pretty well and yeah so i'm gonna plug this bad boy in and we're gonna test it out so be back in a minute let me know what you think so far in the comment section. BRB. All right, guys, we're back, and I got the Fafine mic plugged in. How do I sound? You know, back up a little bit, listen to the audio from the headset. That was the PX11 headset. I did have a filter on. Basically, it was a noise gate, which kind of turned off the volume if it went below a certain decibel to cut out some of the background noise. Not nothing fancy. With this, I don't have any filters on at the moment. It's just the clean audio coming directly from the mic. That little volume knob that you saw on the front, that's actually the gain knob. So this knob right here, let me see if I can put my mouse over it. This knob right here, that is the gain. So if you have it turned more to the right, it's gonna bump up the gain, which means if you're further back, it's gonna pick up you know, more sound, but it's also gonna pick up more background sound and more echoes. So the more you have that turned up, the probably you know the worse your audio is gonna sound. I have my gain turned just above the lowest point, so I got it like all the way to the left and then just above it. So and about a I'm, I'm about a foot away from the mic currently. So let me know how it sounds. I don't have any filters on. And yeah, so far I gotta say, not bad for the price. I was expecting it not to be that great. You know, for 45 bucks, I'm like, yo, 45 bucks, not super expensive. I mean, it's still, you know, it's it's not super cheap depending on, you know, who you are. But I don't just drop 55 bucks on anything, you know. But I will say, for the price, it's it's not bad. There are mics out there that do sound better. Okay, I'm not going to say this is the, the most amazing thing. You go out and buy it right now because there are mics that sound better. But those mics cost basically more money okay if you buy a mic that costs twice as much yeah it's gonna sound better probably but for the price this does not sound bad and the cool thing is you can plug it into your mac you can plug it into your pc and apparently from what these images are saying you can also plug it into your playstation 4 it's not compatible with an xbox for some reason but you can plug it into your ps4 if you want to like use it to voice chat and whatnot but i'm sitting i'm sitting a foot away and it sounds pretty good. Like it sounds just as good as the headset I was using, if not a little bit better. But yeah, I'm kind of impressed. I was not expecting the build quality to be so good. Like I wasn't expecting it to be made of metal. The stand it comes with is pretty nice. The, the threads look really nice because I've gotten mics before where the threads where you actually screw on the mic, they're just plastic and these are actually metal threads. So that's nice. Um, I didn't expect it to have like a little gain knob on the front because I've I bought mics before where it has like basically no nothing anything like nothing adjustable on the mic itself you all, you always have to do it like through the settings in the computer like whether you're using like obs or whatever program you always have to do it in the computer with this it actually has a little knob on the front which adjusts the gain which is nice you know having that little manual feature not a bad thing something i did notice that it doesn't have is uh, some mics I've gotten in the past, not by this company, but from other companies, they have like a little headphone jack where you can plug in a headphone and kind of listen to yourself as you're talking. Those mics, though, usually cost more than a hundred bucks. I've never seen any mic that I know of um, that has that feature, you know, that little plug in that costs under 50. They're always like over a hundred dollars. And I don't even use that feature anyway. But for some people that are out there that think, oh, yeah, I can just plug on my headphones, listen to myself talk. You can't do that with this, but there are programs like OBS that are free where you can just hit some settings and you can still listen to yourself talk. You just can't plug it in directly to the microphone. So, you know, for me, that's not a deal breaker. Something I did notice as well is the cord that comes with it is actually attached and fastened to the mic itself. So if you're expecting to be able to unplug that cord from the microphone, you can't do that. With some of my other mics, you know, if you, like if I'm traveling or something, I can like pull out the cord, wrap it up, you know, you know, depending on how you travel or whatnot, it might be a big deal if you can't unplug it from the mic itself, but you know, it's not a big deal. And honestly, it might actually be a good thing because with those other mics I'm talking about, yeah, you could unplug it, which is nice. It's convenient because if you want to like buy a longer cable, you can, and then you just plug it in, but you can just buy an extender, you know, however long you want it to be, just buy a USB extender cable, plug the end of this cable into it, 
and it's gonna work exactly the same way. And the fact that this is actually fastened to it means it's not gonna fall out because some of my other microphones, yeah, I could buy longer cables, but the mic, the little like USB, mini USB thing, it would always fall out. So I'd always have to like tie it to the, the tripod so it wouldn't fall out. And I was always, like, if you jiggled it a little bit, it wouldn't like connect right. And I would have just so many issues with it. And it would just always get loose and I'd have to like buy a new cable or something. This is actually attached to the mic. So in a way, it could be a good thing depending on how you look at it. Might be a bad thing if you don't want to get attached, I guess. And you, you know, but there's workarounds for everything. Like I said, you could just buy a USB extender. So I'm kind of liking the fact that it's actually attached to the mic because now it's not going to fall out. The build quality, I'm impressed by it because I, again, I wasn't expecting it to be metal. I guess it says it's metal right on the description. I just totally missed that. But yeah, I didn't expect it to be metal. The, the little tripod that comes with it looks like it's in good shape. And again, it has like the metal threads, which is nice. And it has that little gain knob on the front. So yeah, for the price, I think it's a, a decent buy. Are there mics out there that are gonna sound better? Yeah, but they're gonna probably cost more money. Am I gonna say this is the best mic I've ever used? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna say it's the best mic I've ever used, but if you go back and listen to the audio from the headset, it sounds just as good, if not a little bit better in my opinion, than the mic I was using. So if you're looking for a, kind of a small, compact mic that you can you know, put on a boom stand or whatever, this might be the mic for you. With other mics I've gotten, like the, the Blue Yeti, yeah, it sounds a little bit better than this one, but it is big. Like that thing is big. I can't put it on like a boom mic stand because it's just really heavy. This mic, it feels sturdy. It feels like it's built well, but it doesn't weigh like as much as some of the other mics I've gotten. So I do like that, that it's a little bit smaller and compact. So depending on it, you know what you're doing with it, if you're like traveling or if you're doing a podcast, this might be the mic for you if you want something you know smaller and you're know, not a lot of hassle because again, you just plug it into your computer and you're good to go. So I gotta say, I like it so far. Again, I'm not being paid to say nice things about it. There were a few things that I, you know, I didn't like that it was, you know, you couldn't unplug the cord, but now it's kind of growing on me because again, the cord would always fall out of my other mics. And I do like the fact that it's smaller. I like that it's made out of metal and the stand, not bad, not bad. It's got a nice little stand that you can just kind of fold and it's compact. Plus it's got like the adjuster thing. So you can put it on to another mic, like a boom stand. So I like that. I like that. Again, is it gonna, is it gonna break the bank? No, I don't think it's gonna break the bank and I was expecting it to be a lot worse than it is. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Again, if you want like the best sounding microphone, you're probably not gonna find it for 45 bucks. If you want a good sounding microphone, I say this one's not bad. And again, it got some good reviews on Amazon. If you wanna check those reviews out for yourself, I will put a link in the description so you can check out the actual page yourself, check out all the specs and watch some other reviews. But yeah, this is just my first opinion, my first reaction. I'm liking it. I'm gonna be using this for upcoming videos and I will put in the description if I'm using this mic so you can kind of, you know, if you wanna see some more audio examples of it. But yeah, I'm gonna be using this probably like a lot more often because I like that it's smaller, compact. It doesn't take up a lot of room. My other mics just have like really big stands, take up more space. They're really heavy and I'm liking this. I gotta say I'm liking this. And if you mess with the little, the little gain, like at first, I'll be honest, at first when I plugged it in, I had the gain like halfway up and it didn't sound great because I could hear a lot of background noise. I'm actually in my garage right now. I heard a lot of background noise. I could kind of hear my clock ticking in the background. But as I turn that knob down, it got rid of that. And again, I'm not even using any of the filters. So let me turn on a little filter real quick before I go. This is just the, the noise gate filter on OBS. And this is just the default setting. So it will kind of turn off the mic if it gets below a certain decibel and you won't hear that background noise unless you're talking. It just makes it sound a little bit better. So I got that noise gate turned on right now. So let me know if it sounds any better, if there is even a difference. But I'm about a foot away from the mic. And again, if you're, if you're further back, you might want to turn up the gain a little bit. You just kind of have to mess with it. But I got to say, I'm impressed. For 45 bucks, I was not expecting it to be this build quality, not expecting it to sound this good. So I got to say, I would recommend it. I recommend you to a friend. I'd probably buy one myself. You know, if I need a backup mic, I might get this because me and my roommate were thinking about doing a podcast and this is a cheap mic. Sounds good. It's compact, it's small, and the build quality seems good. So, you know, if you're looking for a good mic to get you started and maybe want to upgrade down the road, you can think about that. But this, definitely, 
I'm surprised. And I gotta say, I like it. I'm not gonna give it like one out of 10 because I, I don't really rate things. I'll let you judge that for yourself. But yeah, everything you've heard so far up until the part where I cut the video, that was all the Turtle Beach headset. And this has all been audio from the mic. And now I got the little noise gate filter turned on. But yeah, I gotta say, I'm not, uh, not hating it. I'm not hating this mic at all. For 45 bucks, 45.99 be exact plus tax. Yeah, I was not expecting it to sound the way it does. Or did, I was I was just not expecting the build quality of this because again, it it's metal. I mean, there might be other mics that are metal, but I was expecting it to be plastic because I've gotten other mics that are plastic that cost a little bit more than this, and it just looks it looks professional. Like again, looks aren't everything. The sound is the main thing. I'm not sure if they make like attachments like, you know, that you can put over it to like kind of like a pop filter type thing. I don't know if they, uh, if they have those, I will look into that to see if there are like other attachments to kind of like make it sound a little bit better. But again, you can make any mic sound good as long as you're like using filters. And this is just what it sounds like pretty much raw up until a few seconds ago when I turned on the noise filter. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys would buy this yourself. I'll put a link in the description. Again, thanks for the, the creators of it, for Fine Technology, for sending me uh, you know, a review one to check out. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this where I kind of review products, let me know in the comment section. And yeah, I'll let you go. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Adam. This has been Fafine K669 Microphone. In case you want to check out the exact model number, it's right there. And again, I will put the link in the description. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and remember, keep calm, game on. Toodles!